Hi everyone, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps, and it is back to school today for my nine-year-old. And um, I wanted to send him off to school with something special for his teacher. You know, teachers, they have um, one of the most difficult jobs there is. They're not just dealing with their own children if they have them, but they're dealing with children from all walks of life, different experiences, different dynamics, different changes all the time. And so a lot of kids in foster care, a lot of kids going through divorce, you know, just some of everything. And the children, I mean, the teachers, unfortunately, you know, they, they have to deal with that um, in the classroom. And so, but anyway, I wanted to create something that my son could take to his teacher. He's, he's a nine-year-old. Just to make his or her teaching experience more meaningful, you know, but something that could really cheer up, you know, a child. And so I had an idea to make these You Made Student of the Week, yay, <laughs> little cards. Because that can be a big deal, you know, for a student. And so um, I created, you know, a, a gang of these cards for girls and boys. And I'm just showing you some as I talk. Um, and I also created some little journaling spots, too, that I'll share in a second. But, yeah, I was inspired to make um, make this card actually by a video I saw from Jennifer McGuire. She showcased some stamps from Simon Says um, for lunchbox notes. And so I didn't want to, you know, spend money to to buy those stamps. I wanted to use what I had. I wanted to create something simple, colorful, and cheap. <laughs> and so I took that concept because my son, we're not doing um, homemade lunches this year. I did that the year before last and I'm still, I need another year break or so. But, and so I took that concept and used what I had to create these very pretty, simple, um, you made student of the week yay cards for students and so what's fun about it too is they have easels I started off using oh I'm sorry about that my camcorder I need to level this right let me see if I could hold it okay oh, I hope there's a good okay I started off using Tim Holtz easel but I got tired of that I had to glue two pieces of paper together and um, and then I cut the, the easel in half and that, that's it works but I thought there should be an easier a easier method and so I came up with this idea and I'll share that in a second first let me show you how I made these cards I used what is called a penovation die and these are from AccuCut it's a sterile roll die and penovation die is um, have a corresponding PDF or a Word document. It's kind of like Avery. If you if you work with Avery, Avery labels, you have the labels and then you also have the, the document to create whatever you want to write. Same concept. And what you do is you download that, that document, you put in, write in whatever you want to write in, print it out, and then you, you get something like this here. And then you just set your your paper in between the pen, the registration pins. Pen, all penovation dies have registration pins. And then you send it through and you cut it out. And you get these cards here. Or better yet, the die I just showed you, I also made little journaling notes. This one says, thinking of you, and some have peachy keen stamp faces on it. So they're they're all the same, just different colors. I also have a, a different um, statement or phrase. This one says, I'm proud of you. And so I wanted to encourage the teacher, not that he or she don't write enough already, but I wanted to encourage the teacher to take a second and, and write something heartfelt to his or her students. And I still have some, some spiderweb glue hanging on there. But to stop for a second and write something meaningful, you know, there's great power in the written word and in today's day and time you know we just don't write enough or write at all we email and we text but for a, 
you know, a student to have a handwritten note from the, the teacher that's not on a report card or not on a behavioral slip going home, you know, that would brighten up any student's day. And so the easel that I made here, I just took one of these cards right here and scored it at one inch on the long side, I guess. Yeah, and just adhered it. And it serves as an easel. That was a whole lot easier than using Tim Holtz. Now, let me show you what stamps I use. Because I wanted this card, like I said, to be cheap and I, I didn't want to buy, didn't want to have, have to invest money and in buying anything new. I wanted to use what I already had. And I have this fabulous set of stamps right here. And I lucked out. This was a great deal and steal for me. I got this set from Oriental Trading a couple years ago. And I got it for five bucks. And this is an eight and a half, eight and a half by 11 sheet of stamps. And they just fit perfectly. Little boy, he's raising his hands. And that's just a gadget gear by Tim Holtz. I was so happy I was still able to use buttons for the boys by choosing the right type of button. Okay, that's the same one. A little girl reading her book. It's so perfect for this theme here. And for the girls, I just took a fabric flower because I wanted something dimensional, something handmade. And so I added stickles and the flower and the button there. A little boy right here. I love his hairdo. He's reading a book. And that's just cork, that colored cork and a button. And the little girl, she's reading a book. And with some of the cards, I, ha I have this type of easel and so it, I covered up part of where the date should go but the teacher can still write on that and these are so cute because um, whoever is student of the week they can set this on their desk in celebration which this one has balloons I thought about that after the fact because it is a celebration but they can keep this on their desk um, to celebrate the whole week of being student of the week so yeah Throughout the year, I will be making um, more journaling cards and some birthday notes, not cards, but more um, of these type of cards with different phrases on it. Just whatever comes to mind. And I'm going to package them all up in these clear bags right here. So yeah, and so um, I hope you guys were inspired by this. I really enjoyed doing it. Um, it, it was meaningful to me. And I know the teacher is going to have requests for a lot more, so I'm going to stay stocked up. But you guys have a wonderful day, and if it's your children's first day of school, may they have a blessed day. Bye-bye.